so student uh, as we have already started our economic of class 10 the topic that is development so in our last class we have discussed regarding development categorizing of people on the basics of the developmental goal and incomes and other goal that is common goals and materialistic and non materialistic goal so in our today class we will discuss on national development so now let us start today we will discuss on the topic national development now when we talk about development of a nation or national developments its basic idea is to improve the life of the citizen of that nation to which it belong so what we can uh, talk about is about the gdp of nation or we can also talk about the literacy rate health care life expectancy of individual and their socio economic development so these are some of the factor which we consider when we talk about national development now along with all this we will also even focus uh, that is apart from this uh, health care life expectancy literacy rate socio economic development we will also focus on the personal income the growth in income the removal of poverty satisfactions of the socio economic needs of the people and even attainment of democracy and also participation of the society in it this all we will also include so these are the national goal or the common goal that has been defined in the national development however when we come on comparison between nations and state for comparison it is always important to keep in mind that we will always compare the nation and state with its with its average income we will not compare it with the total income why as because when we are comparing the total income that means the total income is based on the numbers of people living in that country so rather than comparing the total income we need to compare its average income that is average income is been calculated by the total income of the country divided by its total population the average income is also called per capita income now world development report that has been brought by world bank has classified the countries that is countries with per capita income um, which countries having that is us dollar of uh, 12056 per annum and above in 2017 comes under the rich countries list and those countries with per capita income of us dollar that is 955 or less has been listed in the low income countries so if we see of our country india it comes under the category of low income country as because the per capita income of india in 2017 was just us dollar 1820 per annum now if we uh, talk about the rich country uh, we will exclude the middle east and certain uh, other some small country that are developed countries as because we are excluding this uh, middle east uh, and the some uh, other small countries because this kind this all uh, countries are rich country but we won't consider them as a developed nation so these are some of the basics idea which help us uh, to know at what parameter or factor we compare the developmental level of the nation so we can definitely compare the developmental uh, level uh, at the per capita income that means when we are comparing the developmental level of a nation we will compare it with the per per capita income rather than with the Uh, absolute income or the total income now beside this 
income what are the other factor that is important now if we will uh, look at india uh, we will take some example of punjab and kerala now punjab has much higher per capita income as compared to kerala however however if we uh, talk in terms of development we all say that kerala is much ahead of punjab now question arises why if we will uh, talking in terms of development kerala is much ahead than punjab why as because when we are talking about development we are not only including or we are not only looking at the per capita income as we did in case of growth so if we talk about growth punjab has higher growth as compared to kerala that is punjab is having higher per capita income as compared to kerala as but if we talk in terms of development we are including other parameter that means we are also looking at some other factor like infant mortality rate literacy rate not attendance ratio now you just look at this uh, table of 1.4 here you can see uh, haryana kerala bihar is been given the state and infant mortality rate literacy rate and net attendance ratio is been given now infant mortality rate what is infant mortality rate uh, it is a number of uh, children that is uh, not surviving below the age of 1 years that is children die before 1 years as proportion of 1000 life birth that is if our infant mortality rate is higher this indicate that that particular region is not doing well in terms of development that means in terms of development that uh, region is backward or is not doing well if we will look at the literacy rate again in literacy rate if a person can read and write above the age group of 7 years we can say that particular region is developing or is going higher now net attendance ratio if we will look at the net attendance ratio it is the children with the age group of 6 to 10 if they are attending the school uh, as compared to other region that means suppose if region a is uh, going doing well that means in in from the region a the children of the age group 6 to 10 years they are going and attending their school so in this terms we can say in terms of net attendance ratio that that particular region a is developing too so you can see the chart out here haryana infant mortality rate is 33 literacy rate is 82 and net attendance ratio is 61 so kerala is having 10 infant mortality rate literacy is 94 net attendance is 83 so from this you can see that the kerala is developing is going higher in the as a developed nation now out here public facility is an also an important factor or parameter we can say as because money in your pocket cannot buy all the goods and services that you may needs to live well like you are having money and you are suffering from some uh, infectious disease that means money at that time may also not be able to protect you from that infectious disease so for that what is important is that the community or that particular region must take some preventive step so as in that if you will see if they are having pollution free environment an adult medicine more and sanitized facility is there if all overall all this facility is there in that community it show that the particular community or region is much better and is in the process of development so 
you have a country which are working for poverty elimination the removal of the poverty country like uh, we can say india uh you have kind of public distribution system out there that is pds which you have already read in class 9 now example of uh, punjab and kerala which we have taken so punjab has definitely higher per capita income but it's lower in terms of infant mortality rate or we can say it's a uh, infant mortality rate is much higher than the as compared to kerala so we cannot calculate its based on the development of region so we cannot consider haryana as a developed region so development of region would be higher or it, on the basis of the standard of the living that we have seen in kerala so kerala would be higher than that of punjab as because of the basic health and education facility and standard of living in kerala so on this factor parameter kerala is much higher and it is developed now out here important terms come that is under nourishment it is also one of the important factor that we talked about when we are talking about the development here under nourishment is measured now what how the under nourishment is been measured it is been measured by bmi so what is bmi it is a body mass index so out here it is been measured with the uh, body weight of a person is divided by its height so the bmi is been found by division of the body weight of a person that is been divided by its height so these are uh, some of the parameters or factor which will we will look into when we will consider the development when we will judge for the development we will see all this uh, factor in mind but these are not included when we are talking about growth so till uh, this much we will discuss today in the next class we will discuss on the topic women developmental report so till this much thank you